Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back for another server admin tutorial or bucket spigot plugin tutorial. If you're joining for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button because I do these every week. If you have a suggestion on one you'd like me to do, feel free to comment that in Jibbles below. I will give you a shout out when I get around to it. Like these fine folks who suggested Phoenix anti cheat, there's not a whole lot to go over in this plugin actually. It pretty much just gets up and goes. So we're going to go over some in game commands. And then we'll go check out the config. It is made by the Muhammad 2188 and it does require protocol lib. Now, if you're on 1.8 plus, you're gonna want protocol lib 4.1. And then if you're on 1.7 still, you're gonna want 3.7 for protocol lib. Otherwise, this plugin will not work for you. But anyway, let's talk about some of the permissions. It's pretty much all set up by default, but you have phoenix.command and then phoenix.notification. And if you want some of your users to bypass some of the checks like flying or, or whatever, you're gonna wanna give them phoenix.bypass.module name. And I believe the module name will be the section of the config that we're gonna go over in a moment here. So let's talk about the game commands, PAC or physical or uh, Phoenix anti-cheat now he doesn't have the phoenix config in order to edit in here but that's a pretty cool feature i hope that he gets that going and then you pretty much can just reload and then check the check the version in here i'm running the latest free version he has a free and a premium version i haven't well, was not able to try out the premium version but it looks like it only works with 1.8 it hasn't been updated in a while this was the most recent updated one so let's go ahead and check out the configuration. All right, you can see that we are running 10.2 actually, and we're gonna go into the plugins and we can see that you we have the protocol lib. This is the correct version for this. And we're gonna jump into the PAC folder and then you have a config and mess. Go ahead and check those out. All right, so here we are in the configuration. Pretty straightforward, just gonna enable true or false. You can actually change even the notification so it doesn't notify you. You can set anything to false, all of these time settings are in milliseconds so keep that in mind uh you could check you change the distances for checking for kill aura all that stuff angle all that um you can even whitelist some uh characters if you're using a, a different language other than english you can enable that so it doesn't check for random ascii characters and then all the way at the bottom here we have actions so you can check you can change what the action does. You can even just give them a temp ban, temp IP ban or something like that. Plug it into a ban plugin that you have and put the command that it's going to run once they have tripped up any of checks. So if we go to messages, you can see that this is where you can change all your messages. You can change the color coding, anything that would pop up from PAC, you can change it in here. Like I said, really quick and easy, not a whole lot to configure. It just kind of gets up and goes and works. So that's really cool. So hopefully you guys have some fun with Phoenix Anti-Cheat. Keep an eye on it. The author is still updating everything. I'm really looking forward to that GUI uh, for editing the config in game. That's gonna be pretty sweet. So this is Cos reminding you guys all, enjoy the game. God bless. Oh.